I've been having like the, um, this, these thoughts lately about the current state of shonen, i.e. this generation of shonen, you know, like Black Clover and Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, Jujutsu Kaisen. And I have been noticing this trend where it feels as if these shows are rushing to the end game a little too soon. For context, my generation of shonen was of course the now like famous big three, i.e. One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach. With the big three, what was a common critique of Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece is that they were incredibly long series that were kind of hard to get into because of how long they were. And some people, even to this day, believe that like, longer series tend to be very like you know like convoluted with a bunch of like filler and makes it so that shorter form stories are sometimes a lot better preferred within the kind of shonen sphere but also just anime in general and while like i can understand the critique i think the added benefit of longer shows ends up being that you have an actual time to like you know dive into each character into each world into each arc to kind of really truly develop each and every person you possibly can within that long span of time so that you have like this well-rounded cast this well-defined world that people can really envelop themselves in and really enjoy for generations to come. I think Dragon Ball had that. I think that One Piece definitely has it. And I think that Bleach and Naruto and every other long running series of that period of time and everything also benefit from the idea that even now, there are like kids that are coming up now who can still be able to enjoy the characters of Naruto and, and Bleach and One Piece and Dragon Ball because of the fact they had so much time to kind of really like delve deep into those characters and those worlds. However, I almost feel like with the likes of newer shows like Demon Slayer, My Hero, and Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm watching these shows and I'm enjoying them fine, but then I get to like, you know, like their second seasons or like their like even mid seasons where I feel that like this would be the point in time where like, you know, a time switch should happen or like we should really be like focusing hard on like developing the idea of a new power up it feels as if like we're just kind of speeding through it. For instance, in My Hero Academia right now, like there are moments in time where I feel as if Deku is learning a brand new quirk in his arsenal, only for it to kind of like either off screen, you know, that quirk, you know, like training, or to just straight up kind of rush to the point where now Deku has like seven quirks in the span of like, you know, like a season. And now we're in this final war where it's like, where you kind of like end up being on this like weird like retrospective of like the minute this show started these kids have been going through hell <laughs> like every arc like said some kind of like traumatic defining thing that would literally like you know like make any like 14 year old break is happening to these children as they're the ones that have to be in charge of like saving the day and it's a it's a weirder sense than it would be in naruto because i feel like in naruto the adults are a lot more competent and you know, in at least in part one of Naruto, it wasn't a situation in which like, okay, here's Naruto and he's 12 years old and now he's fighting pain. Like, no, like it was straight up like, no, like clearly like these kids are not ready for the future threats that are to come. And so we're gonna literally have like a time skip arc to kind of like get them caught up to a point where it makes a lot more sense that they'd be able and ready for some of the bigger threats that are getting ready to kind of like unfold for these characters. Whereas with a show like My Hero, I feel like we're kind of like just rushing right through all this and everything. And like, it just feels less earned, if that makes any sense. And I feel like the same way about shows like Demon Slayer, where we're rushing into the Hashira arc, or like Yusuke Tyson, where all of a sudden all hell breaks loose by season two. You know, it just feels as if like, weirdly enough, this kind of mantra that has been or well, well, longer, longer shows, shows end up being more, more filler, filler and as a result and everything and aren't as good as a shorter shows, shows like Omar like, like, Alchemist. This feels like, you know, like there's like a fatal flaw in that if like you're gonna end up just rushing to the end anyway, I'd rather like it be a longer series, you know what I mean? So I just feel as if like, I can't tell if like the nature of that is because of the fact that even in Japan, there are Japanese viewers who feel the exact same that, you know, like longer series just aren't their thing. They kind of want to be able to kind of have a series that can like be seasonal in the anime or just a, a series that can kind of like get to the point a lot faster and kind of cut out the fat. I'm all for that aspect of like, you know, cutting the fat out of like a manga or anime or story in order to kind of like further, further growth 
for the characters, but I'm not in favor of it if it comes at the expense of the story and the characters, if that makes any sense. And so, I don't know, like it's, it, it just, it's a, a weird trend that I noticed first in My Hero, but as I started watching, you know, Demon Slayer and Yusuke Tyson and a bunch of different other animes, like it just kind of gets to this point where I'm just like, yeah, maybe this isn't a good thing. But hey, that's my opinion. Of course, I would love to be able to kind of like get this discussion moving and I would love to hear some of your opinions and comments below. Let's have a giant discussion about this and I would love to know if you guys feel the exact same way. If you have a counterpoint to what I'm saying, by all means put it in the comments. Let's have a discussion. I want to hear your thoughts. And until next time guys, this is Lucky X out. Hey guys, Marquise here. Just giving you a little bit of a reminder that if you enjoyed this video, head down below and hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers and we've been working toward that goal for a very long time. So again, if you like this video and you enjoy videos like it, make sure again to head down below, comment, like, and of course, hit that subscribe button. And also, let me know down below like what your favorite shonen anime is. It could be, you know, an old school one like Dragon Ball or all the way to the more the new school ones like Demon Slayer or Black Clover or whatever. I want to know what shonen anime is your favorite and what it means to you and why. Okay guys, see you next time.